In this video, we're going to focus on evaluating triple integrals. So here we have a triple integral that we want to work on. And it's going to be over the rectangular box B, given by that expression. So I need to write the limits of integration. And I'm going to start with y. I'm going to save that for last. And then I'm going to write the x values and then the z values. Now I'm going to replace dv with dz followed by dx followed by dy. So 0 and 1 are the z values. That's why z has to go first. The second integral contains the x values. And the first, the first one, which is going to be the, the last one that we're going to use, that contains the y values. So you need to make sure that dz corresponds to the appropriate z values. So now let's go ahead and begin. Let's evaluate the integral on the inside. So that is the integral from 0 to 1, x cubed, y, z squared, dz. So we need to find the antiderivative of z squared. x cubed and y will be treated as constants since we're dealing with dz. So it's going to be x cubed y times z to the third over 3. And this is going to be evaluated from z equals 0 to z equals 1. So this is 1 third x cubed y and then 1 to the third minus 0 to the third, which ends up being 1 third x cubed y. So that is the that is what this integral on the inside is equivalent to. So let me get rid of this stuff on top since it's no longer needed. So right now we have this expression. The integral from negative 2 to 3, and then the integral from 0 to 2. And then inside of that, it's 1 third x cubed y, and then dx dy. So now let's move on to our second integral. So that's going to be the integral from 0 to 2, 1 third x cubed y dx. So we're integrating with respect to x. So it's going to be 1 third y, those are the constants, times the antiderivative of x cubed. It's going to be x to the fourth over 4 evaluated from x equals 0 to x equals 2. So right now, we can combine 3 and 4. So that's going to be 1 over 12 times y. And then plugging in the x values is going to be 2 to the 4th minus 0 to the 4th. So 2 to the 4th, that's 16. And we can reduce 16 over 12. 16 is 4 times 4. 12 is 4 times 3. So canceling of 4, this gives us 4 over 3y. So right now, we're left with the integral from negative 2 to 3 of 4 over 3y dy. So this is y to the first power. So it's 4 over 3 times y to the second power over 2 evaluated from negative 2 to 3. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. So we have 2 over 3, y squared, evaluated from negative 2 to 3. So it's going to be 2 over 3. Plugging in 3, we're going to have 3 squared and then minus negative 2 squared. So 3 squared, that's going to be 9. Negative 2 squared is positive 4. So we have 9 minus 4, which is 5. And 2 times 5 is 10. So the final answer is 10 over 3. And so that's how you could evaluate a triple integral. It's very similar to evaluating a double integral. The only difference is you have an extra step. Here's another example that we can work on. So let's begin with the integral in the middle, which I'm going to rewrite. 
So we have the integral from 0 to x minus y of 4xy. And we're going to integrate it with respect to z. So 4xy is a constant. Let's rewrite that. And then we're going to add a z to it. And we're going to evaluate it from z equals 0 to z equals x minus y. So that's going to be 4xy times, we're going to replace z with x minus y and then minus 0. So this gives us, if we distribute the 4xy, it's 4x squared y minus 4xy squared. So right now, we have the integral from 0 to 3 and then the integral from 0 to x of 4x squared y minus 4x y squared and then we have outside of that dy and then dx. So that's it for the first part. Now let's move on to the second part. So we're going to focus on this integral. So we have the integral from 0 to x, 4x squared y minus 4xy squared dy. So we're going to integrate this with respect to y. So 4x squared will be a constant. The antiderivative of y to the first is going to be y squared over 2. And then this is going to be minus 4x times the antiderivative of y squared, which is y to the third over 3. And this is going to be evaluated from y equals 0 to y equals x. So everywhere we see a y, we're going to replace it with x. Here we have 4 divided by 2, which is going to be 2x squared. Now, instead of writing y squared, we're replacing y with x, so that's going to be another x squared minus 4 over 3x. Instead of y cubed, that's going to be x cubed. And then when we replace y with 0, the entire thing will be 0. So this is going to equal 2x to the 4th minus 4 over 3x to the 4th. Now, these are like terms, and if we want to, we can combine them. So 2, we can write 2 as 6 over 3, and then we have x to the 4th minus 4 over 3, x to the 4th. So 6 minus 4 is 2, so we get 2 over 3, x to the 4th. So now, we have the integral from 0 to 3 of 2 over 3, x to the fourth, and then dx. So the antiderivative of x to the fourth is going to be x to the fifth power over 5, evaluated from 0 to 3. So 3 times 5 is 15. So we have 2 over 15, x to the fifth power, and then now we can plug in the numbers. So it's going to be 2 over 15, and then 3 to the 5th power minus 3 to the 0 power. And I'm going to get a calculator for that. So 3 to the 5th power is 243. And I made a mistake. I put 3 to the 0 power. That should have been 0 to the 5th power. But 3 to the 5th power is 243. You know what? It might be easier to do it this way. 15 is 5 times 3, and then we have 3 to the 5th power, so we can cancel a 3. So it becomes 2 times 3 to the 4th power over 5. Now, 3 to the 4th power, that's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, that's 81. And then 2 times 81 is 162. So the answer for this problem is 162 over 5. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to give you a few simple examples on how to evaluate triple integrals. Nothing too complicated. 
But that's it. Thanks again for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe.